It's already halfway through the year and we're starting from scratch. By completing SBCs, playing matches and competing in foot champs, we're going to build the best ultimate team that we can in the time available. Welcome to my FIFA 17 Halftime Road to Glory. That's right ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of the Halftime Road to Glory. Episode number 39 today. And uh, this was the team that we're going to take into the Daily Knockout Tournament. Now, I'm going to show you guys a lot of stuff this episode. And that is just because I haven't had time to compile it all together in one episode. I've had a very busy weekend. But I definitely wanted to slaughter out those 40 games for you guys. Um, so as soon as this video is recorded, it's going to be posted as soon as possible. Um, and that's just the, just the main thing. Like, I haven't really had that much time this weekend. I've been really, really busy. However, guys, we are going to win the Daily Knockout Tournament. And I think this one was for a Rare Consumables pack. A nice little finish there from Usman Dembele. And um, he's been very good in the club for me. I think he's still on about a one, a two goal contribution per game ratio. Even after for champs. Um... It's very, very good, and on top of that, he's got a lot of assists, and like, um, there's been a lot of rage quits as well, so that obviously lowers the ratio quite a bit. But we are going to go into the rare consumables pack, and in this pack, we're going to get five, five squad fitnesses, as well as a left wing to left forward, as well as 3,000 coins. Very profitable, um, about 10k worth of profit there, so that was exceptionally good for doing the DKT, some nice little profit there, and that's going to take us up to 574,000 coins. Now, on top of that, the Year of the Rooster SBC came out, and um, that actually has a Team of the Season reward, and I was hopeful that we were going to get a big Team of the Season. We've had a lot of luck from these Team of the Seasons, so I wasn't going to be disappointed if we didn't get one, but we do get a walkout, and it's going to be actually an Argentinian walkout, if you guys saw that flash there for a quick second. Um, but however, it's not going to be Messi, or Dybala, or Higuain. In fact, it's going to be the Tigres goalkeeper, because by the name of Guzman. So, 88 rated goalkeeper, and uh, he's not really going to be useful to us. Maybe he'll go through an SPC later down the line, but in my opinion, he's not going to be that useful. Now, I did sell on a lot of players that um, went for a lot of coins during this time period. Because look at this, Mark Noble, 1.9k. Um, let's scroll across a bit. Sydney, 3k. Uh, that Espinosa guy, 7.5k. And that actually brought us up to about almost 600,000 coins. And um, I was going to put some draft gameplay in here, but I realized I just didn't have the time for it. So I just show you the results, and we absolutely wiped the floor. 4-0, 5-0, 3-1, and 7-0 to win the draft. And we get a rare players pack off the top of that. And we also sold them some more items from um, from that SPC. So it was very, very worth it. In the gold pack, um, we get nothing of any real value. We get Weig Weigel, Weigel? I don't know how to say his name. I'm not that good at the German pronunciations. However, we do get a squad fitness card. So that's an additional 1.4 thousand coins into the club. As well as a rare players pack. In the pack, no walkouts and no big flair. However, we do get the 83 rated man, Bella Rabi, and um, he's gonna go straight into an SBC later down the line. You guys will see that, and it's gonna be for an 86 rated Florenzi. His card looks super good. He's like a Kante, and I'll talk a bit later about his card. Um, just because his card looks amazing, but right here, you can see the 80. Uh, 83 rated cards, we're going for about 4,000 coins. They really have dropped in price since the hype of all the um, all those SBCs. And I think the midweek SBCs weren't as amazing as a lot of the other SBCs. But you can see us right here claiming the Silver Run rewards. And uh, that put us up to 618,000 coins. And um, from that we get a Mega Pack as well as a Jumbo Premium Rare Players Pack. Or well, Jumbo Premium Players Pack. But in this one, we get an 84 rated player in the name of Subasic. Daniel Subasic, I think. And um, yeah, I, if you guys didn't see it, did you see Danny Alves' goal against this guy? It was a bullet. Like, oh my days, that was such a good goal. Just talking about real life football here for a second. If you haven't, go search that up. I, was, I think it's a preseason game or something. But for PSG, Danny Alves is already banging in amazing goals. And um... That was an amazing goal. I was just in shock when I saw that. I was like, oh my god. 
But um, anyway, in our second pack, our second 84 ready card, and we actually get three 84 ready cards. And this is all going to be very, very useful in completing that Florenzi SBC that you guys will see in a bit. So we get Xhaka and Asensio, as well as two 82 ready cards, which are also going to go through the SBC. And um, not that many others, but we get to fill out the club again. That's what we like to do. We like to fill out the club so we can do a whole bunch more SBCs and it's going to be all good. Now, this Florenzi card, as I was saying, he is 5'8", but he looks like a Kante, man. He is so good. 89 pace, 85 shooting, 86 passing, 80 um, ace dribbling, I think, 83 defense, and 84 physical. And... Um, at that centre position, he's going to be a menace. I'm going to try him instead of Kadira, potentially, and uh, see how th how they both uh, compare. Kadira's got the height, but um, Florenzi's got the pace and all that sort of stuff, so it's going to be interesting to see how they compare. And you can see me putting through here a lot of red cards. Now, guys, guys, I know what you're saying. Why are you wasting the red cards? But we're getting, we're getting some more red cards, not that many. I think we're getting one or two gold red cards coming up this month. And on top of that, I don't really need to use, like, any other players. Because I have so many more red cards. I have, like, 20 or 30 left in the club. So I'm happy to put through those Team of the Season red cards, as well as a Lucas, to get an 86-rated center mid Florenzi with high-medium work rates. And just a sensational card. You put a shadow on him, he is looking deadly. You put an anchor on him, actually, he is looking very deadly. And um, I was kind of disappointed he didn't get a right back card, because that would have been very, very nice. But we are going to go into some Foot Champs games right now. And um, yeah, it's going to be a bit of an interesting start. Lukaku with a little outside of the boot curler into that top net. And we'll take a different look at that angle, because whoo. That is a nice shot. That 99 shooting on that on that left foot of dreams. He is just so good. And um, it takes a while to get used to Lukaku and how he feels and all that sort of stuff. But once you get it, and once you know how to use him, he is so good. You can shield off your opponent. And um, you'll see here from the result, and you guys know from the title where I, where I finished. But um, I was really enjoying FIFA this weekend. I played 26 games on the Sunday, and I won 23 of them. So, um, yeah, that gives a bit of an indication. And we actually started off going really badly. This right here was a rage quit, and it's going to make it 1-0 on the record. But um, we actually started going 3-3, and at that point, I was like, okay, let me reevaluate. Let me see what I'm doing wrong. This dude, Fresh Prince, with his team, my days, has it. Like Lukaku, son, that is the dream. That is the dream three up front, and I might try and look and get the team of the season hazard. Maybe not actually. I don't know. I don't know if it's going to be a worthwhile upgrade um, from Hyungmin Son. Hyungmin Son's been doing amazing work for us, and that is a very, very unlucky goal from my opponent to concede. I just bumbling all over the place, and somehow Hamchuk's able to tap that one here. Same with this one. Look at this. Ronaldo hits at the keeper. It goes straight back to Ronaldo, straight off the keeper, and into the back of the net. But as I was saying, at three three wins and three losses, I really had to reevaluate what I was doing. Because um, I felt to myself that I was rushing it, and I didn't have the confidence anymore. And I think that's a lot of it. I think just being confident in your play... And, um, and how you're playing and the style you're playing really does impact your game performance. I think when I was going on that win streak, and um, because after that, I think I finished 15 or 13 and 3. So I went from, I went on a 10 game win streak, and then I went on something like a 15 game win streak as well. And during those win streaks, I was very confident in how I was playing. Like, I was trying to I, I wasn't even trying really I was I knew what to do I knew how both of my teams worked and it's it's really odd normally I'm favoring one team over the other normally I'm favoring this team with Ronaldo Messi and Suarez but um my second team with Dembele um Lukaku and Son and the midfield they were all just working together this week and I don't know what it was I don't know how I was playing or what I was doing different but um, it really, really was working. As you can see, 6-1 there in the second game. And this third game is going to be one of the losses we did take in our streak. 
and um, it's going to be against a guy where I actually played later and I managed to beat 5-0, so it really, really does depend on your mood and um, how you're feeling. Now this goal, look at this goal guys. My opponent's moving his wall and I just smash it through the wall and it comes off his defender on the line and goes in. Usman Dembele there getting a very lucky goal. But it was like one of that, that it reminded me of that goal from the World Cup where Messi tried to, um, I think it was the 2014 World Cup where Argentina had two men in the wall, they both split and Messi just kicked it straight through them. Now obviously they didn't score off that but um, it was very very similar, I've never scored a goal like that. And um, right there, Lukaku, I don't know how he gets a goal, but he does, and he makes it 2-1. But that is all we're going to score in this episode, in this match. And um, my opponent's actually... Oh, did I miss a goal? I must have missed a goal somehow. But anyway, um, his second goal was very, very, like, generic double tap across the keeper. But this goal right here, look at what... Um, I think it's Chris Smalling. Chris Smalling there, I'm trying to pass it out to Marcus Alonso because I never pass in the middle, especially like that. And, um, his Ericsson comes across and, um, smashes that one into the back of the net. And unfortunately, we're going to take a loss. However, guys, you're looking at some end game footage from my final match. Usman Dembele scoring the only goal of the match against De Magma Carter. And uh, he was actually a very tough opponent. I've played him. I played him twice this weekend, and um, as you can see, very very even stats. Kudos to you, man. But Usman Dembele with a nice little Berber spin and um, a double tap Vanessa across the keeper. And this is what Usman Dembele can do because he has five star weak foot. He can just shoot from anywhere, and it's gonna be a threat. But off that game, off that one, well, off this, at the end of this game, we actually finished 36th in the world, and we finished 34 wins. Now, obviously, this was before the weekend league had finished, and obviously, I have dropped out of the top 100 from then. So, um, unfortunately for us, we are not going to be getting 11 informs from January but that's all right I'm I'm happy I'm happy with the six you know because if we look at the rewards for January it's gonna be pretty pretty nice we're gonna get a hundred and twenty five thousand coins which is gonna be a massive increase to our club six informs slash team of the year cards if we're lucky and two 100k packs guys I have I'm so happy I'm so happy at where we finish honestly I'm just glad I put in the effort on the final day and just slogged out those 26 games because we were able to finally get Elite One in the club. And um, yeah, that's very, very nice. As you can see, we, there was 36 wins for this weekend. So it's not like we were going to get top 100 at all. But I don't know about you, but can we smash a thumbs up for Elite One? Because that's pretty, that's pretty good considering the type of player I am. So um, I was pretty, pretty happy with that. I'm not obviously a pro or I don't really consider myself to be amazingly good, but um, Elite One, in my opinion, is amazingly good. I've only got it two times before and they were both on my PlayStation stacked club. So um, to get it with the road to glory, that is absolutely amazing. But that's gonna be it for this episode, guys. Next episode, we are going to go into daily knockout tournament. And um, I'll hopefully try and get that up to you as soon as possible. So um, hopefully they'll be coming out on the Thursday. And uh, yeah, so if you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to like, subscribe, and uh, leave a comment down below telling me what your highest finish was. And uh, yeah, Elite One Rewards incoming, guys. I will see you in the next episode.